All right, hello everyone. This is gonna be a really short and simple video explaining how to update your sync from 1.0 to 3.0. Uh, I had an issue <clears throat> where my F-150 would say updating system software and it would stay there for about two hours. I called Ford support and they gave me the exact same spout that they've been telling me. So I went online and I found this new uh, post about how you're supposed to modify these files uh, or one file to be more specific to actually be able to install it on your F-150. Now I did this on a 2016 F-150, but a lot of people have been saying that this worked for them in a, a lot of different years. So I'm going to do my best to show you uh, how to actually do it on like through a video because I had some trouble understanding what was going on uh, when I was reading it online. So it's actually as it's not as complicated as you might think. You're gonna do everything that Ford tells you to do, except for a couple different steps. So you're gonna put your USB in. You're gonna format it to XFAT or FAT32. Uh, sometimes XFAT works. Sometimes FAT32 works. It's really up to you. Uh, but Ford says to do it to XFAT. So that's what I would try first if that didn't work for you. Uh, next, you're going to download, you're, you're going to go to the Ford website and you're going to download Sync 3.0. Uh, you're going to do that by putting your VIN in and then you'll get the actual download. Um, and then you'll have these three files. So it'll come in a zip folder, you're going to unzip it, and then you're going to have these three files either on your desktop or if you use it, unzip it to the actual USB drive, whatever you want to do. But I recommend just putting it on the desktop and then transferring it to the USB drive. So once you have it on the USB drive, you're gonna see this. You're gonna see Sync My Ride Auto Install and Don't Index .msa. Uh, Sync My Ride is just the folder that actu actually has all of the update um, and uh, grace note and the files that sends to Ford once it actually updates. So they know that you're actually at 3.0. Now, as you can see, AX, BF, and BB are the biggest files in this uh, actual sit in this actual folder. So what that means is that these installing all at the same time actually takes a good amount of beef from your actual Ford system. Um, so what you actually are gonna do is you're gonna separate each and every single install here so that it not does it at, so it doesn't do it at the same time. It actually does it once after the other after the other. Uh, and this is going to be a little different from your actual uh, install that Ford tells you you're going to do. You're actually going to do it a little bit different. But don't worry, um, I'm going to tell you what to do. So you're going to go back and you're going to go to your auto install. And this will, you're going to have to go to, uh, you're going to right click and then you're going to do show more options. Uh, actually, sorry, you're going to click on it first and then you're going to right click and show more options. Then you should see all these. Now you can go open with, and then you're gonna go to more apps because you're not gonna see Notepad here, at least you shouldn't at first. And you should see Notepad or WordPad there. So I chose Notepad, so I'm gonna hit okay. Now, this is what you're gonna come up with. And I'll actually show you here. So these, uh, this semicolon right here essentially tells the Ford sync system to ignore this whole line. Uh, so what that means is that it just completely skips over this because this has nothing to do with what the script actually is going to do. The, same, the, the script is actually just going to run all this, right? So in order to separate everything so that it doesn't install AX, BB, and AC at the same time and all of this before, because this will actually take you about uh, 5 to 10 minutes to install, and then these will be the ones that take maybe 15 to 30 minutes each to install. So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna do the same thing. You're gonna put a semicolon on every single line. Okay, so now that we have everything with semicolons before it, um, you're going to actually remove all the semicolons from the first section up until auto install. So right until you hit auto install, this will continue to have semicolons so that the computer can ignore these fat installs you're gonna just delete these semicolons so that the Ford sync system only does this first section, which is the actual 
6.0 update. So just like that, you're gonna leave it like that. You're gonna save, so you're gonna hit the X button. You're gonna hit save, and then you're gonna extract this from your computer, go to your Ford, turn it on, plug in your USB drive, wait until that finishes. It should take about five to 10 to 15 minutes. It took me about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, if it takes upwards than that, I'm not really sure uh, why it would. Maybe it's, you know, you might have done something wrong or the computer is just freaking old and takes its time. Uh, I know mine was. So once you're finished with that, it should reboot. Now, before it reboots and it turns off, make sure you plug out your, make sure you take out your USB so that it doesn't try updating again because it will try and update and then it will tell you that it's damaged or unsupported. So make sure you take it out once it's off. Um, when that finishes, you have to wait at least five minutes before you plug in the USB drive because the sync system just doesn't like to be told to do it faster. Uh, so you're gonna come back inside, you're gonna plug in your USB again, and then you're gonna open this back up and you're going to put semicolons on every single line here. And then instead of, and then after you finish that, you're gonna take all of these out, um, or sorry, I apologize. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually copy this. And once you actually finish, so once it says BB, you're going to put space or put enter three times and paste that so that you have what looks like this. Okay, so now we have this. This is all three sections, three different sections. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to remove the semicolons from this one and put semicolons before all these so it doesn't try and do this one again. Okay, so once you put these semicolons, you're gonna do the same thing, hit X, hit save, and then go back to your truck. This one's gonna take about 15 to 30 to 45 minutes. It might take, it might take longer, and you're gonna repeat this step for the, rest of, for the rest of them. Once you finish that, your system should be updated and you should have less of a headache than I did. So I hope this video helps someone out. Uh, if it doesn't, or if, if it doesn't help you, then I'm sorry. Uh, I know that a lot of people have been having this issue and it really sucks that it's so complicated. Even Ford themselves, sometimes the dealerships don't know what the frick they're doing. So it's, it's really annoying, but I hope that, that this at least helps someone understand what that person was talking about in that post. Uh, yeah, thanks.